right, we're down here at Crystal Beach where we're actually under a tornado warning. It is, uh, I don't know, what's the day? 25th, 26th, <laughs> 26th of July. It is uh, 7 30 pm. Uh, skies are getting pretty much uh, pretty dark right behind us right now. And uh, we're just waiting for the first bit of lightning. There's some uh, um, like two storms. We've got the first cell coming through very, very shortly. And then the main event is right behind it. So hopefully it won't pitter out like it usually does. And we'll get some uh, fun. Spoiler alert, there was no tornado. However, I did set up a time-lapse video of the incoming storms because there was two, one after another. So the first one's just about to pass right now. It was very short, very brief. This storm's running at 52 knots uh, coming up Lake Erie. So it's a very fast moving system. It literally, it just flew past very, very quickly. The rain only lasted like 30 seconds. So I'm gonna stop the time-lapse right now. And if you can see just back there in the distance, that is the next system coming in, which is this big red blob right here, which is a good 20 odd kilometers away, but it's moving fast. Got a roll cloud just starting to form, stretching from over there all the way across. Uh, to the naked eye, it's not that clear, but through the camera lenses, it's, it's showing up pretty good. Uh, need a bit more lightning. As I said a moment ago, this storm is moving fast. It's actually moving at approximately 52 knots per hour. So that is a huge speed across Lake Erie. And anyway, I'm gonna get straight back uh, to the time-lapse. As you can hear from the microphone, the wind's picking up pretty good right now. Uh, rain is imminent in like literally 35, 45 seconds. You can just see it coming over the water. Uh, just beyond the, between here and the lighthouse, it's raining very heavy, so it is coming. Time to run back in. On the time lapse, you can clearly see the heavier rain starting to arrive. Uh, the arrow's on it right there, that little line of white as it comes flying in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rewind that back uh, so you have a better look at this. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and uh, I'm gonna put the arrow back on the white patch. That is the very, very heavy rain, the rain cloud, the rain wall, I should say. It's like a wall of rain, super heavy. And as that pushes in, it, it's just hard, heavy. Um, surprised there was no hail in it, but it was just rain. Uh, but that is the system now, and as you can see, it's actually weakening. Uh, from the last shot we had, the red's now starting to break up. So why do a lot of the storms die when they get to the eastern part of Lake Erie? Well, thunderstorms lose energy over eastern Lake Erie because of the lake's cooling effect. The lake's temperature is cooler than the air temperature, which causes the air to cool as it passes over the lake. This cooling effect causes the thunderstorms to lose energy and weaken as they move over towards eastern Lake Erie. As my fellow storm chaser, uh, Storms Over Erie says, all good storms come to Lake Erie to die. <laughs> 